Hey guys, Stephanie here. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Thank you to all my new subscribers. All right, in San Francisco, these people have utterly lost their damn minds. I don't know what to think of these crazy people anymore. But, okay, I had a friend tell me, like, well, not a friend, just an acquaintance on Twitter, like, a long time ago, that the people within this system, this deep state, their goal is to annihilate white people. I'm like, yeah, okay, that's just going a little too far. Then I started looking into what they're doing in like South Africa. In South Africa, their leader is calling and white people are literally being slaughtered. White farmers, they're killing the farmers and stealing their land. So in San Francisco, you know, cause they just don't have enough dumb ideas. San Francisco government to pay black women $1,000 a month to have children. The program is partially funded by the San Francisco government and will give checks to minority pregnant women for each month of their pregnancy and for the six months, first six months of the baby's life, okay? They want to pay minority women, specifically black and Pacific Islanders. Then, okay, they go and then they pay an additional thousand for the first six months of the newborn's life. The government noted they hope to expand the program so that can cover the first two years of a baby's life, which would bring a whopping total to $33,000 per baby. And right now they say they only have 150 people in this, um, you know, <clears throat> experimental phase of this. And I'm just thinking to myself, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Like, you're literally going to pay black women to have babies are they, these babies gonna have fathers are they just like random i mean we have enough fatherless children who are screwed up running in the streets all over this city burning shit down san francisco i don't even know how they can afford it but this is what they do with taxpayer money and then you know it, it even gets worse because then you have another bill that was passed and it's basically for pro-black births, okay? And it is helping women of racial, I guess, discrepancies. Okay, first off, if you can't afford to have a baby, don't have a baby, okay? If you don't have insurance, if you can't take care of a child, don't have it. And you won't need help common sense get married have a father around for the child okay the government should not be incentivizing people to have fatherless children for money not only that you're using them as like guinea pigs for eugenics this is eugenics so you're telling me that all white people get the best health care like all their health care is just great no there's poor white people too there's poor race of everything but they're only focused on blacks before Planned Parenthood was paying women basically to get abortions and now, and to, you know, incentivize not having fathers in the house. And now they literally want to pay you. It's basically their way of getting you on a basic income. I don't see how people are not suing this. This is utterly disgusting with everything going on in the world right now. We just had two cops assassinated, almost. <laughs> you know, we have this huge race war going on. And instead of anybody trying to quail it and like say, hey guys, this is enough of this talking point. Let's like back off a little. They just keep ramping it up. And it is so disgusting. And I think they all should be held accountable because this is pretty much like crimes against humanity. It really is. This is all a political narrative that we're suffering from. It's like we're literally being held hostage by pissed off deranged Democrats because Obama's third term legacy didn't happen because Clinton didn't get into office. So they hate Trump. So then it gets even worse, okay? So then you have right now the head of the Health and Human Services Department coming out and saying directly that the CDC and all them sedation, they've been lying, sedition, sedition, sedition. Yeah, 
They've been lying to us. All this other nonsense. We know it's, we know it's all bullshit. So he comes out in a press conference and is telling people to buy ammo, buy guns, be prepared because the Democrats there, this is an insertion. Like there's going to be a war after the election. People automatically want to go fact check this fact check. Okay. Look up your fact checkers, dude. All the fact checkers are part of the billionaire monopoly that censor us all. They're all philanthropists, bankers. They're not us. They're not for us. They're not here for us. They're here to get rid of us. Okay. And I don't think people understand that when people keep talking about Trump, this and Trump that, okay, listen, if it weren't for Trump right now, you would be eating out of a dumpster like the people in Venezuela had to do. Okay. I don't know how to put it any more blatant, but they are coming after us. If you don't comply, you're going to be in a FEMA camp. This is no bullshit, no joke. Kamala Harris said it herself that when they win, they're going to come after every Trump supporter. Do people not see what's going on? Okay, in Ohio, the governor, in the middle of the night, passed a bill. And remember, Bill HR 666 gives them permission to come to your home, forcefully test you, forcefully remove you, basically say you're asymptomatic or you, you don't even have symptoms. They give you one of their tests and if they say you're positive, they take you into their isolation camps. Well, Governor DeWine, you know, can't ever pass up a good opportunity. Oh my God. All right, if you look online, he passed a bill that any kid who goes to school and tests positive will be going to an isolation center and to have the parents do an emergency card, pack medications that they need and extra clothes in case they have to go to one of these isolation centers. The isolation centers are FEMA camps. They're just making it seem nice. Now, as a parent, can you imagine? And, and then the thing is, is he comes out and he does this whole press conference and he's like, it's not true. It's a hoax. No, it is true. Why else would the CDC, why else would the districts, why else are they telling people and parents to have your kid prepared for an overnight stay and to talk to them that it won't be scary? How many parents are going to be okay with this? Like the government can just snatch up your kid and take them to a isolation center like what not only that here in Houston they're still getting our blood but you got a vaccine approved if you have to get my blood to keep researching this I don't want your vaccine because that means the vaccine is not foolproof what they're doing in these other states it's kind of like a dry run this is the new world order this is the takeover of the United States Okay, what they're going to do is they're going to try to bring the UN in. Okay, China, China, Russia, UN, the, the Democrats are going to get them in here. They're going to try to throw over our military. They're already trying to get rid of our cops. That way the UN can come over and be the peace, peace holders. Okay, you have to do research, look up how Hitler was able to come in as an unelect, unelected person Okay. And spread all this fear and all this animosity and all this hatred to where people were put in boxcars and slaughtered. Now think of all the people sitting around who got brainwashed by it, or they were too quiet and afraid to speak up. All you people being quiet, you're just as bad as the people who didn't speak up when the Jews were being killed. I'm sorry, but this shit is getting disgusting. It is so disgusting to me because what people don't understand, this has nothing to do with Democrat, Republican, has nothing to do with LGBTQ, black equality, human rights, none of it. It's pure socialism, communism. It's an overthrow. This is an insertion in our government. Department, Department of Homeland Security keeps re-upping their EMP attack threats. Okay? You have... Politico and all these other outlets that are saying it's not arson, it's climate change when there's actual people being arrested and there's videotape of what they're doing. 
This is being done on purpose. They're setting those fires in California with direct energy weapons. Just like that um, earthquake in New Jersey, this by a nuclear plant. Is anybody paying attention to all these other things going on? Because on TV, all it is is COVID, 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 COVID. And I find it really funny how we just had like all these protests, you know, for everybody to have their right to go vote in person. None of them had masks on, they protested. It's too dangerous to vote in person. And after that, now, uh, what happened to COVID? Are we on climate change now? Because this shit is confusing. So is COVID only around for political purposes? Yes. Because the minute they got what they wanted with mail-in voting, they dropped it. You don't hear about COVID anymore, unless it's on the news to tell you about a vaccine they want you to take. I mean, <laughs> as a parent, I literally want to scream and like vomit reading these bills and legislation that's getting passed that literally strips us of our rights of our kids due to COVID. But you see the hypocrisy. You see Nancy go get her hair done. You see Lightfoot, she's on TV, so she's got to get her highlights. We are the second class citizens. There's going to be an insurgent. It's going to be really bad when you have the Department of Homeland Security the Department of Health and Human Services saying that this is a coup against our president. And you look at how the media constantly talks, never say anything positive. You got to look at it. When in history has any president ever been treated this way? Not only that, Obama hasn't even let Trump have his first term. It's been one investigation and hoax after another. So Trump, he, honestly, he can get a third term. But that makes it dangerous because you know why? Then Obama is going to come in for try to get it the third term. Basically, whatever Democratic candidate, if they win, Obama's the one who's going to be running. He's the one in charge of it. Hasn't anybody realized Obama's never left? When you look on your news feed, it's all this gushy, mushy, lovey-dovey crap about Michelle Obama and this and oh no. Then then you see the way they talk about like Melania and Trump and their kids, but you can't say anything to them. You can't call them out. You can't say, hey, you know, this is black supremacy. I'm sorry, but y'all are literally turning people against white people in injustice, social justice, warrior bullshit. I mean, you got segregation in dorms again, safe places for black people, you know, um, black only dorms, white only cafes. Like what is wrong with you people? Is this how you want your kids to grow up? Because you know, they say silence is violence. Yeah, silence is violence. And it, it it's not who you think that the violence is toward. And everybody right now, part of this whole activist movement, you should all be ashamed of yourselves because you're part of the problem. Instead of being realistic and thinking like, dude, yeah, we're all being manipulated and played. Everything we're surrounded by is negative, 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 negative. LeBron James, all these stupid people who don't even know what they're talking about. They just say it because they have handlers. It's because of money. But what they're doing is they're wiping out the middle class. And they're doing all these lockdowns and all these unconstitutional things because they all want us on one basic income. They're, they're literally putting us into socialism forcefully. This is medical tyranny. No government should be able to tell you how many people you can have in your house. You have to wear a mask. You have to do this. We say so from this invisible enemy. You know, and it's a virus that you only know you have if you get one of their tests. Like really? In other countries right now, they're pulling people out of their houses who don't comply. They're arresting them. They're with all their new laws, sedition laws overseas. If you are a truth teller, a truth reporter, you talk about any of it, they charge you with sedition and treason just for speaking out about what they're doing. That's going to happen here. Like everything I said that would happen, just like look at Venezuela, look at every other civilization, country, 
when a new regime comes in, they slowly break down the educational system. They tear down the statues. They get rid of the religion. They get rid of the history because they want to rewrite it to how they want it. This has nothing to do with because they care about certain groups of people. Not at all. They just want us to hate each other so we don't catch on to what they're doing. Nancy Pelosi, Adam Schiff, the Mueller report, everything. I think it's odd that Hillary Clinton and all them are on trial. Nobody's talking about it on the mainstream news. And said it's COVID, COVID, COVID. You know what I mean? And it's like, really? Um, hmm, guys, can we be real? Can somebody just be honest in our mainstream media? Can, is anybody going to have the balls to step up and say enough? I mean, we're watching Obama, Clinton. We're watching all this real crime, treason, sedition, trying to overthrow a duly elected president because of their agenda and their hatred for him. And all these media outlets, all these people that follow the, the narrative, you're the ones that are going to be eating out of dumpsters like they were in Venezuela. Because while you're turning a blind eye, because you're in denial of all these people in Hollywood and all these government officials that you're obsessed with and you look up to and you idolize, they've been lying to you. And it's it's very, it's betrayal. It's like if you were in a marriage or a relationship or something happened and you were betrayed and you found out you've been lied to this whole time. It's human nature to want to be in denial. And there's like stages of people having this awakening to reality. People are getting mad, depressed, suicidal. You got people, I mean, just so sickened by what they're finding out about pedophilia, the sex trafficking, all this stuff. And all of your beloved Hollywood, Obama, Clinton, all of them, they're involved in this satanic shit. Okay? They're, and, it, and they make it look really good. And if you pay attention to like music videos and all that, they're all worshiping Satan in this. And there is a, I think it's a New Hampshire, hold on. <sighs> New Hampshire sheriff. This is ridiculous. All right. Oh my gosh, dude. On Inside Edition, transsexual Satanist anarchist Aria D. Menzo wins GOP nomination for New Hampshire County Sheriff race. This is her. I don't know if you can see it. Just my phone is so busted up. But anyways, um, that's another thing. Like, why should I? Ha why do I have to pay fourteen hundred dollars for a phone? Ugh! Like, mm, I refuse to just because of the principle of it. it. It annoys the crap out of me that cell phones are so expensive. <laughs> but anyways, so nobody even ran ran against this lady, boy, whatever it is, and. The, her campaign slogan was fuck the police and she's now the sheriff. Whatever parallel universe we have entered into, I want out. Like this free six months trial of socialism, pure craziness going on. Can we like opt out now? Like nobody wants to be a part of this. And then you see all over TV, it's suicide prevention month and mental health. Okay. We wouldn't have people killing themselves and dying of ODs and doing all this crazy shit. If you people in the media would act right and be honest and quit making everybody so angry and fearful and turning everybody against each other, the mainstream media has become so toxic. And if you look at these people, they're miserable. They are miserable fucks. But I mean, I get it. They probably like have everything like held over their head. But at the same time, it's like, holy shit. And part of me is so upset because like, like I get, I, I know what's coming. I've had this dream constantly. And like my daughter had the same dream and I didn't even tell her about mine where we're being forced out of our homes with people with guns and everybody in my neighborhood's walking and people are freaking out and screaming and crying. And they're, they're not American soldiers though. I don't know what they are. Okay. And then my daughter, like a week later, you know, woke up really disturbed. And she told me that she had a dream that we were all walking in the streets and there was a, but we couldn't take anything from our houses. 
and they were taking us somewhere and she was telling me that this little girl was crying because she, all she wanted to do was take her blanket and her stuffed animal and they wouldn't let her. And I literally like the hair stood up on the back of my neck and like I got goosebumps because I'm like, my God, dude, because my I'm RH negative. Like I've told y'all before, like clairvoyant, clairaudient. I'm very empathic. I pick up on energy. Like I don't, I see things and I feel it in a different way than most people. Not trying to say I'm special. Trust me, it's a blessing and a freaking curse at the same time. Because I can feel the suffering of people around me. I can feel it. Like if I go into a grocery store or a restaurant where there's a lot of people, it just, just, ugh. Like it, I want to crawl out of my skin. I'm so uncomfortable because People are miserable and that, that is the mental health crisis. We're miserable, not because of race or injustice. We're miserable because we have a monopoly of bureaucrats, unelected people. We have all these philanthropists, billionaires, Hollywood elites. These people have taken over. Like we, the people, Amer America's dead. Trump is the only one in the way of these people's agenda. Why do you think they hate him so bad? Why do you think a man you've never met, you know nothing about, okay, just a businessman, dry sense of humor, talk smack, whatever. But when you hear what the other side says, how can you even be offended? When you have pe people assassinating police and then blocking the hospital entrance saying, we hope they die going through suburbs, terrorizing people. And then if the law abiding citizens defend themselves, they get arrested. Come on, this is targeting people. Okay. And Mark Zuckerberg coming out and saying like, Facebook is going to do everything it can to make sure that, um, You know, all the facts are being told on COVID and climate change. He's a Satanist. I think he's kind of like one of those reptilian cyborgs. Like, why do Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, all these people who have nothing to do with our politics, why are they making the rules? Has anybody thought, who is Mark Zuckerberg to police what is the truth? Tell us what we can say and what we can't say. Did you elect him? I didn't elect him. We didn't elect these people, but we have them and like Dr. Faki and all these other freaking lunatics on TV morning, noon and night telling you that it is normal to not have election results for, you know, maybe a month after the election. No, they want to drag this out have an all out war. They want to take our freaking guns, come after us. If you don't comply, you know, those isolation centers that they're going to put our kids in if they test positive without the parents right to say no. Those FEMA camps will also be for people who don't comply with them. It's happening all over the world. And people are literally looking at Americans right now in pure shock and disbelief because we are the strongest country. And if we fall, that gives nobody else hope. So while you're all caught up in Black Lives Matter and kneeling for the flag and, you know, we got to wear a mask and all this other shit, it is all a distraction for what's coming. Look up Agenda 21. Look up Agenda 30. Look up the Blue Beam Project. Okay. Look up uh, Project Paperclip. This is an insurgent. I'm not saying you should freak out or go hurt anybody. I don't, I don't condone that. I really don't. I think all of this is disgusting. I think everybody needs to just shut up and stop and be a little more positive and stop attacking each other and hating each other. And maybe there's some hope for humanity, you know, cause setting fires and burning things down and tearing down statues and attacking people, you know, if, if you're black and you see a white woman sitting there eating, you think you just walk up to the table and steal her food and drink her drink. What does that make you feel like? Does that make you feel like a good person? So what is this? It's an attack on white people. 
And now they're paying black and Pacific Islanders to procreate. And they're paying them $30,000, $33,000 per baby. They want white people gone. And this is really happening. There is a radical Muslim regime that is within our own country. And they support Antifa and Black Lives Matter. And then you have Meghan Markle wanting to do a whole series, like a movie, on the co-founder or founder of Black Lives Matter. And she's a black supremacist. Like, what? Why are people glorifying this? How many more innocent people have to get killed because of these talking points, just so these evil demonic people can overthrow our president? Trump's not going to back down without a fight. We know Joe Biden's not going to win. We know it's all a stage. We know it's all an act. But at what point is Trump going to come out and say enough or do something? Because I don't honestly think people can handle much more. They can't. People are depressed. They're scared. They're lonely. They're, they're losing their minds. People are in food bank lines. People are starving. But San Francisco... You know, they got people crapping in the streets, a homeless ep epidemic, heroin needles all in the streets, but they have the money to pay 150 women, $33,000, their, their prenatal care. They got money for all this other stuff, but they can't do anything to help their own citizens. Like what the hell? And are any of these people that are going to be part of this, you know, make a baby will pay you project or a lot of them going to be illegals <laughs> like like what are the, who comes up with this stuff and why doesn't anybody like fight it they're so shady they are beyond shady look up uh bill hr 666 all right go on um go on uh cdc and look up ohio governor Dwayne. And the isolation centers, I'm not kidding you. The CDC literally has things out for parents and the schools are telling them, make sure you send their medicine. They have to have these emergency cards and to have a talk with your kid because it's not scary. It's just an overnight stay. Okay, remember when they said, no, we're not going to use FEMA camps. No, we're not going to lock down. It's just two weeks. No, you don't have to wear a mask. Then if you don't wear a mask, we're going to fine you. OK, then you got, you know, certain states with these extreme lockdowns. You got to sit outside to eat. I mean. Don't let them take any more of your freedom, people. I'm telling you, because right now, like the Rothschilds and all them deep state, they're taking over all of our food supply because of COVID. They're saying that basically us mere peasant people, we can't control it. So they have to take it over because, you know, they made so many people. You know, close down their plants and stuff like that. You know, we all, none of us could work, but you could go work at a gas station because that's essential, right? But, you know, nothing else is. <laughs> it's only what serves them. But yeah, they're taking over our food supply right now. They're, they've been taking it over. So imagine you got rolling blackouts. You already have, you know, certain um, restrictions and limits on water, electricity usage in like California and other states. So if you don't think they're going to ration things out, it's going to be slow and methodical, just like Venezuela. We literally had caravans come here to escape socialism. And what do we have? All these dumbasses pushing for socialism now. Like, really? So what? Are we going to have to make caravans and all us Americans go to Mexico because they took over our shit? <laughs> like, oh, my God. <clears throat> Y'all be prepared because there's not going to be, this election is going to be all out war. The Health and Human Services is saying it. Department of Homeland Security has been telling people for a couple of years now to prepare for an EMP attack. And just in September, they upped the level of threat. All right, think about it. Three nights of darkness. We have fires, earthquakes going on everywhere. Something big is coming. Be safe. Be prepared emotionally, mentally, and physically. Make sure that if you have any medications, you get refills, have extra antibiotics, have like three months worth of uh, water and stuff like that. Because when shit hits the fan, you don't want to be out at the stores when all these people are going crazy, looting and rioting. You want to hunker down. Make sure you have a plan with your friends and family too. 
you know, because we don't know what's going to happen. And if you would have told people all this would be happening a year or two ago, three years ago, people would laugh and be like, no way. But look, it's literally happening. Like every truther right now is like, I told you so, told you so, told you so, told you so. But at the same time, we're like, oh, shit. It's happening a lot quicker than I thought. And it's here. The grand reset is here. This has nothing to do with politics. It's one world government, one world currency, one world rule. And we are not the one percent. We are just their bitches. We are literally a slave race. We all are. People just don't even realize it. Think about it. Hit that like, subscribe, and share. Love you all. Bye.